What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel Do Ministry Gaming and today I'm going to be walking you through the Path of Exile Parandus League mechanic. So when you enter a map that has the Parandus League mechanic, you're going to come across these types of chests uh, that say Parandus something. They don't always say Parandus Horde. Uh, they'll say Parandus Chest or Parandus this, Parandus that. But anyway, Parandus something. And they're usually surrounded by a bunch of uh, monsters. They do have a very unique graphic to them, so you're probably not going to miss it. And you have to kill all the Parandus monsters before you can actually open this chest. Now, when you do, uh, a few things are going to drop. Uh, you're going to get these uh, a bunch of random loot, but also you're going to get uh, these Parandus coins, which is the key currency behind the Parandus League mechanic. So with these Parandus coins, there's literally only one thing you can do with them, and that is to buy items from an NPC named Kadairo, uh, who also has a chance to spawn on a map that has the Parandus League mechanic on it, uh, which I'll show you right away here. And then I'll talk about the different ways that you can spawn Parandus as well as Kadairo uh, so that you can use these coins. All right, so this is the Kadairo NPC found in the same map. Now, the first thing to note is that he does not always spawn just because you have Parandus on, uh, but there are ways that maybe you can force him to spawn, which I'll talk about right after here. But basically, what Kadairo does is very simple. He offers you one item at random, and there's a big, big list of items that he can offer you, including League-specific items like Headhunter uh, or very uh, valuable items such as the Mirror. Um, and he offers you one item that you can buy for Parandus coins. And you have to have enough coins uh, in your inventory in order to make this purchase. If you don't, you can portal back to the hideout and, and get your coins and come back. Or if you still don't, like for example, Headhunter is I think somewhere around 20, 15 to 30,000 coins. Um, you can buy them, of course, off POE Trade and then come back and purchase the item. But basically, he offers you one item at random. You can either accept or decline that. And in this case, just to show you, I will purchase this a Stone of Lazwar for 95 Parandus coins. And that's all there is to it. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the different ways that you can get Parandus onto your maps, and in particular, Kadairo. And the first is through the map device. Um, Every league, the mods change on the map device, so check to see if your league has it. Now, in Ritual 3.13, Parandus is available as a default mod on your map device, so you can select that and spawn Parandus uh, through your maps that way. Uh, now, as you can see from the tooltip as well, Kodairo does not always spawn in these maps when you use this method. He has a 33% chance to spawn your maps, so... Um, there's a 66% chance where you're just going to get the Parandus chests that I talk about and collect coins, and you're not always going to get Parandus. Now, if um, your league doesn't have the uh, Parandus mod through the map device, you can also get it by infusing it into your map device through the Harvest League mechanic, which I believe has gone core now. Now, with the infused Parandus, is slightly different. You will always get Kadairo running it this way, and you're going to get five Parandus chests instead of three. So the second way to spawn Parandus and Kadairo is through uh, Scarabs. So there are Scarabs called, let me find it here, Parandus Scarabs, uh, rusted, polished, and gilded. And as you can see through the different levels, uh, they have a different chance to spawn Kadairo. So uh, the rusted have a 33% chance to spawn Kadairo and two chests, 66% uh, chance for the polished, and 100% chance to spawn Kadairo with the gilded Parandus Scarabs. The third way to get uh, Kadairo into your maps is through the Atlas Ascendancies, in particular Lex Ejoris. Now in Lex Ejoris, there is this arm here specific to Parandus, and this node here, Prospero's Promise, uh, gives the area a chance to uh, spawn Kadairo at 20% chance and gives you an additional Parandus chest. And then we'll talk about here too, I guess, the Friend of the Family um, node here. Uh, when you do see Kadairo, uh, he basically this node makes Kadairo a little more juicy, uh, gives you um, the rarest of five items. So, you know, uh, Kadairo always offers one item, but what this will do is it will roll basically five different items and then offer you the rarest one and then uh, sell it to you for 20% less Parandus coins. All right, so the final way that you can spawn Kadairo is through the Parandus Manor Unique map, which has a 100% chance to spawn Kadairo. 
All right, everybody, that should be everything you need to know to at least get started with the Parandus League mechanic. I did put out a video where I ran 100 Kadairos in Lex Ejoris to see uh, just how good Kadairo can be and if the Parandus nodes in Lex Ejoris are actually worth running. So make sure to check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Times are in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.